So, a um, lot going on today. It's Tuesday, Tuesday the 12th of April. And the concrete guys are here and they're patching, they're patching every, anything that needs patching. And then, uh, I was worried about this and they're fixing this. The, they're pulling the foam out of here, the foam rubber, and putting in, it's a type of caulking that they use to fill that groove. And then they're cleaning out, they're going to clean out this groove which I mentioned to Amy. It's just got concrete on the edges and they're going to clean that all up. And anyway, they're, and then they're just patching all the little places that need patching. Um, they're also fixing this end cap, which I'm happy about that. So, anyway, they're up here and then the pool cover guy came and he's working on, he's changing out the wheels, the pulleys on the, the pulleys on this side that run this plate back and forth. He's changing those out. He thinks that's going to help. He thinks that's going to fix the problem. So we'll see. Um, so we got that going. Pete came, got the heater working. You can see the steam coming up. We're not sure exactly what it is though. He, he basically reset the heater. There's a couple different things it could be. Um, the pool manufacturer, the guy that works for the company, is coming up this week and he's going to change out a sensor, which he thinks it, it probably is. But anyway, um, one way or another, it's working now. And so just gonna hopefully by the end of the week it'll continue to be working and but anyway there's a bunch of stuff that was going on with that and I I won't get into all that but um, it's working now and by the end of the week hopefully it'll be working for good so uh, what else the landscapers are the posts are in well they're still working on them a little bit but need to clean them up. Oh, I guess they're cleaning them up right now. I'll give you a shot when they're all done. Because they, you can still see concrete and they're still a little dirty. So uh, I'll give you the finished version of that. But I'll let you see them. That way, for some reason, you have some input. Obviously, this will all be hidden. And you'll just see the posts coming out of the dirt. Um, got a problem with the, the system, the irrigation system, the, uh, pressure tank that's up on the water, next to the big water tank, has got a siphon going on, and it shouldn't have. When it's off, it's still siphoning water out, so I'm gonna have to call the plumber and get him out here and figure that out. I think it's just a one-way valve, no big deal, but but I'm going to let him come out and look for sure since they put it in. Uh, yeah, like I said, the heater's working. It's been on for a couple hours now. We're gonna, they want, we want to bring up the spa up to full temperature just to make sure it's working. So, um, Electricians are putting the lights up on the path, the lights up in the trees. They're finishing that up on the upper path. Um, and then they'll do the lights on these posts. Anyway, that's about it on this for now. Um, I didn't get the spray. It was just too windy and then last at the end of last week and then the rain was just going to be here too soon and we decided Bacchus and I decided that if we sprayed it would get washed off by the rain and it's a good thing because we got as you know over a half inch but now we got a half inch of rain and it's very wet and I don't know when I'm going to be able to get in here and these shoots are just growing like mad 
but the mildew pressure is way down, so they're not, Madeline's not worried about it being a problem because the mildew, like I say, the mildew pressure is just very low. It came up a little bit when the sun was out, when it was 90 degrees last week, but that was only for like a day and a half, so. Uh, anyway, so as soon as this is dry enough, I'm gonna be in here spraying. And then, not too long after that, I'm gonna have to mow. These things are getting tall, this cover crop. Hard to see, but, but it's getting thick, which is great. So, but I can go through there and spray it, won't hurt a thing. I just drive over it once, won't hurt it at all. I'm gonna be mowing it anyway. So anyway, everything's going good. Busy day up here, like I said. Um, I'm gonna go and point out everything I think needs to be repaired by the concrete guys. I got a list, and I hope, and they had a list too, so I hope to make sure we get everything done that needs to be done. Um, oh, I know the other thing is Tom Shalek, uh, of Mastercraft Painting came up, um, and they're, they're going to do the rails. I think they're going to be here this week too, uh, to do the rails and finish the work down here, the caulking around the doors and stuff and the grout. Uh, but he looked at the house. One thing he forgot to do when they were here, or he never came up, but anyway, he was going to look at the house and the shingles. So he's going to put together a couple different um, invoices for, you know, doing the house. Um, and they actually have, I kind of jokingly said, can you mix in some woodpecker repellent? And they actually have some stuff, and he says it works pretty good. So I told him, by all means, mix it in with the stain or whatever whatever sealer, whatever we put on there. So he's going to give you two different options. One would be, I mean, they're going to do a, a light pressure wash. Mainly in the front, there's a mold, moss, whatever you want to call it, or whatever it is. On the front deck, he wants to get that off. He thinks that could be problematic. And I'll show you that. But so they'll do a light pressure wash, but the two options are pressure wash it, so it all looks light. It's not gonna look like this, but it'll be lighter than that, it's somewhere in between the two. And then they would stain this, put a pigment on this light stuff to match wherever they can get the dark stuff. You know, when they lighten up the dark stuff, they'll darken up the light stuff and they'll get it to match. And then they'll seal it from there. So the whole thing would look light. So let me stop you. Oh, are you? Okay, I'll be one more minute. Let me catch them before you go. And then the other option is to just darken this up, darken these up to match this. If you're okay with this color, they'll clean it up, but they'll leave it dark the way it is, like it is on the front down here. And, um, and that would be a cheaper option, obviously, to... Uh, leave it dark like this and just get these patches and darken those up to match. If you remember, we did this whole upper part and we were able to match it. So the whole thing would basically look that color. And like I said, that would be a cheaper option. If you want the whole thing lightened up as light as they can get it, um, then he's gonna give us that, he's gonna give you that option too. So those are the two differences in them, the main differences. And whatever they do, like I said, they're going to put in that woodpecker repellent and sealer. So, And then I, I, I fixed these. I did kind of a temporary job. Here's my question to you. Is Are you okay with this right here? Otherwise, I need to buy some metal. This is actually plastic. And the color is just a pretty close match. Are you okay with that? Do you want me to redo that, use metal all the way, and have them paint it to match those, which means we'd probably have to repaint all the downspouts. It's just mainly these two that they had to tear out. And this one is, if you can see, same thing. It's a different material here, 
in a slightly different color. So my question is, do you, can I leave that? Do you want me to leave that the way I did it? I just had to get it from washing everything away. Or do you want me to use metal and have them paint it? They're going to have to paint this downspout anyway. I think that's the only one. There may be one other, but they're going to have to paint that one anyway. So question is, leave that or get it perfect to match the rest. Anyway, that's it for now.